The humans had been our protectors, our guardians, for generations. They defended our world for as long as anyone could remember, and we lived in prosperity. It was a golden age. And we looked up to them as if they were gods walking among mortals, blessing us with their technology, their protection, and their compassion. They had a vast empire that stretched out into the stars above and beyond, and we dreamed of someday joining them in their quest to explore the cosmos. But that was long ago, long before my time. When I was young, I was told the legends of great warriors and champions of old, of the days they fought for us and died for us. They could have left the planet and saved themselves. They could have gone into hiding. They had hundreds of worlds after all, Yet they remained, and they fought for us. Why stay to protect our measly little planet? We never understood. Our gods fell, defending a dying world. That day, our protectors were taken from us. And our world, once beautiful, was stripped of its riches, and we were left all alone in our small pocket of the universe. But before they died out, they left us with a final parting gift. In their dying breath, they gave us their greatest gift. The gift of their intelligence, their ability to bend the universe to our will as they did. Though thousands of years had passed, the stories of their valor and sacrifice never died out, and the hope that they would one day return never faded. But with all that time rebuilding, we never forgot who made it possible, and we set ourselves on a new path. The beginning of a new era of innovation, exploration, and most importantly, vengeance. We set out to the stars to find the ones responsible for destroying everything we loved. I may not know the humans, but we owe everything in our lives to them. We searched for years. My seventh great-grandfather, hundreds of years ago, was the first to be sent out in search of these great enemies, to mend the broken and right the wrongs of our galaxy. We scoured countless star systems, trailing anything we could find that would lead us to the ones responsible. We started off small, a collection of a hundred ships just jumping from dead world to dead world, but we never found the humans, nor any of the ones responsible. We only found the scattered ruins of their great empire, each a faded memory of what it once was. But in every dead world we came across, we found friends. Others like us who had been protected by the humans, like we had, who had also been given the great gifts of the humans. And together we trekked onward, each new friend bringing their own tales of the human's sacrifice and selfless courage. Each new story filled us with the desire to be like them and to rectify the injustice that had brought all of us together. At the start of this journey, our numbers were small, but our determination was strong. When I assumed command, our ships numbered in the hundreds of thousands. Each world, each new ally, adding to our great fleet, sharing one great cause. The drive to bring back what was lost burned within every single one of us, and the fury of vengeance burned bright in every single one of us. And now, staring out from the, the bridge of our flagship, the Retriever, I watched as the felon's final planet was blanketed in ash and fire, marking the end of the Great War. I was filled with a sense of accomplishment as our centuries-long goal was satisfied. Our last transport had left the planet before we set off the chain reaction, destroying the last bastion of the felon in its entirety. Though for every planet of theirs, we destroyed, we were never reunited with the great protectors our stories spoke of. Regardless, we never gave up on the hope that they were still out there, somewhere. I didn't believe it when I first heard that on the felon crown jewel we found them. Kept in chains and shackles, we liberated them from their oppressors and brought them back. The last transport finished docking with the retriever as I waited with bated breath in the great hall with thousands of others, all of us filled with excitement and anticipation at the long-awaited reunion we had always dreamt of. I was standing in the front to greet them when the doors lowered. When I saw them for the first time, I understood why we did it, why we never gave up on finding them. The first one walked up to me slowly, and I could see the happiness on his face when he saw us for the first time in thousands of years. We never stopped believing we would find you. You guarded us for so long. Maybe now we can be the ones who protect you. 
You never needed us to protect you. You've always been our guardians. We knew you would find us again. It was always only a matter of time. No matter how long it took, we never stopped looking for you. We never stopped believing you would come back. You always do. You still remember us after all this time? Did we... Did we do good? We would never forget our best friends. You've always been good boys. And I couldn't help myself as my tail started to wag.